Hello everybody, this is MF and welcome back to more Grim Fandango Remastered. Um, in this episode we are in for some puzzles, in fact. Um, and the first thing we have to do is go over here. Um, to this place over here. And we see a little now three. Equally money. What sort of unholy Christmas tree farm is this, Gladys? Gladys? Manny, check out this wheelbarrow, will ya? With a couple of ATV uh, nubby tires on the back and a two-stroke lawnmower engine, we could make one sweet go-kart. Hmm. Right. Okay, so what we have to do here is simple. Um we have to make the C D for um Pops on the tree. Um, we have to make them go um, well, sy synchronized, I guess you could say. Um, what we have to do is run this uh, over here until it's fixed. The problem is, I don't completely. I think what we have to do is uh, make the two on the right synchronized and the two on the left synchronized. That will do. So this might take a little while. Uh, this is one of the puzzles that I'm extremely bad at. There we go. That should do. Um, and then we uh, go over here and press the switch. Stop it. Um, stop Ooh, it careful, Manny! Yeah, With yeah, the yeah. harmonic balance are turned off, those pumps might shake that tree apart. Oh, but... Oh! Yeah? If we shook the tree down, those pumps right. would dislodge, and I could make high lift shocks out of them for the bone wagon. Hold on, I'm going to unbalance that wheel with some of these weights. All right. Shake it down for sure. Am I recording? I mean, I know I'm recording video, but I'm, yeah, it looks like I'm recording. Okay, oh, just give wrong. me a second to balance these doggies. How about not? This is what we have to do. I'm not sure if it's enough. What are you doing? Is it enough? Ah, uh, it's enough. Alright. So not really a bad... No, not a terrible puzzle. God damn it. Sorry about that. Um... Alright. I'm sorry about that. I, I'm not sure what happened. Um, I, I unplugged the microphone thing and then I'm not sure if the audio was terrible. Uh, but if it was, then fucking I have to do this all over again. Why? Um, Alright, so what we do now is actually um, park the bone wagon somewhere. Let's just go off here. Um, now we grab this. Um, sign over here. Enough, um, and then take the sign up into the top right, left corner here. Um, you can actually go through these uh, holes in the trees with the bone wagon, but they lead nowhere. Um, just put this somewhere, like right here, for instance. And wherever the sign is pointing, go in that direction with the sign. Um, so this way, I'm just going to put it down right here. It tells me to go over there, so we'll go over there. 
Not too far though. I think about there is good enough. Yep. So there we go. Alright, so um that opens a secret passage. We could go through with uh, just Manny, but we're gonna go grab the Bone Wagon and Goddess. So we're actually, uh, we're pretty far into the, um, oh, we're done with the two puzzles that... Could you move a little faster, man? <clears throat> you have to go uh, all around the Bone Wagon in the slowing, in the slow pace? Come on, man, come on. Well, anyway, it's as simple as that. Um, then we move up here and in here, obviously. I think he has to go around, though. Oh, maybe not. Here we go. We're in place now. Manny, I'm scared of that sign. Come on, Gladys. It's not that hard. It's not that scary. But let's look at it anyway. It looks like some sort of warning sign. They'll tear you apart bone by bone and build with you a human throne. Their bucktooth king will sit upon what once was you, but now is gone. This key unlocks the gates of hell. Steady traveler, use it well. Mm. Well, we're getting this key. Can't pass up an old creepy key. Right. Just put it in the inventory, man. Anything else. Let's go back in the bone wagon. Let's see what we can do here from here. A man is just walking very slowly anyway. Yeah, whatever. Alright. And then we go through. That's why we needed to do the bone, uh, the tree thing. We needed to get pogo sticks so we could walk, well, drive on these rocks. Without. Here we go. There's a door here. Manny, what are you doing? Don't you know what's on the other side of that gate? Yeah, the way out of the forest. Demon beavers, Manny. They'll make you into a dam! Relax, Geppetto. I'm not made of wood. But Manny! They don't use wood. That's true. He was bones. Just uh, go over to this glowing thing here. Pick up a bone. Pick up another bone. And a third one. There we go. Um, now we head over here. Down here. As you can see, the beavers are walking up there. So what we do here is just. Um, Look at the murky water. No, I don't think I could swim a single stroke in that tar. River of tar. But anyway, what we do, we throw a bone in. And then we quickly... Get the fire extinguisher. And when this guy... Jumps in... We use the fire extinguisher to... You know, distinguish him. This thing we do three times. Well, two more times now. And there we go. Two times is a charm. Well, three times is a charm, in fact. And here's the third one. I think it's the last one. Grab the bone, 
throw it in. Rinse and repeat, basically. That's what we're doing here. There we go. Now we can um, get over here because there's no more weavers. So let's just uh, get our key. The key of doom and destruction! And uh, use it in this keyhole of doom and destruction. This outer gets... gate is huge. I'll need Gladys to open it. But there we go. Manny, I don't know if I like driving over people. They can't feel it, they're dead. You're dead? I wouldn't want to drive over you. That's because you and I, Gladys, are friends. Aw, oh, Manny. So there we go, we're out of the forest and into the desert. And soon enough, we are where we have to be, in Rubicaba. Hello? Miss Colomar! We're here to save you! Hey, lay off the racket, the whole town's asleep. But I want a drag race! When they get a load of my car, we're gonna be the talk of the town! Talk of the town! You're right. We're gonna have to find a good place to hide that road show. Speaking of hiding, I wonder if Mitch is here already. I'm gonna go see what I can stir up. Not a bad piece of real estate, actually. It's got potential. Indeed, it does. So here we are, in Rubicava. Not much to see here. Um, there is a um, cafe up here, in fact, but... Nah. Alright. So, um, we're gonna go up here. See what's up here. Huh. That face looks familiar. Mr. Flores, I'm ready to take you now. Manny Calavera, is that you? Didn't you used to be taller? Yeah. I'm here to reclaim that walking stick. I broke it over the head of some hideous monsters in the forest. Oh. I'm looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. Well, no one's come through town by that name, and you can take it from me. I, too, am looking for someone, so I watch the comings and goings around here very carefully. Right. What are you doing here? Well, if you must know, it's about my wife. I got word that she passed away not long after I, and that she, too, was crossing the land of the dead on foot. It is said that all lost souls come to Rubacava, so... I came here to wait for her. Right. How do you know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you? Oh, Manny. If she had arrived here first, surely she would have waited for me. You think so, huh? So, know a good place to stay in town? What's your price range? Somewhere around the high end of nothing. Then maybe, young man, it's time you started thinking about a job. Yeah, it's probably true. I'll help you find your wife. What did she look like? Oh, here. I got this from the DOD and made copies to hand out. Isn't she something? She must have been beautiful with skin. Weren't we all? You must love her very much, also. Yes, this is true. Of course, she also has all of my money. Ah, uh, yeah, that's gotta be a fact. Well, I'd better go see how my other clients are doing. If you say so, Manny. If I haven't mentioned already, um, most of the shimas you get uh, in this game are by talking to people. Um, so there's that. Um, some of them are a little bit hard to get, but yeah. It's Celso's wife. Actually, I don't think skin would help. There you go. Alright, so let's check out the town, see what's up. I wonder what's over here. Oh. Ooh. Uh oh. We're dead. Yeah, tourists. Yeah, tourists indeed. I like this music so much. This is amazing. 
You gotta watch your step around here, stranger. Rubicabe ain't the quaint little pork town she used to be. Well, hell, Look looks the like there's a new vessel in town. Pardon me whilst I go check her out. It's a pretty big difference on the characters. Otherwise, it's not much changed. Well, he's shivering there, but we don't have time for that. Well, actually, it's mostly stock with a few mods here and there. So, would those be glass packs I'm hearing, or turbos? I think this is Garden's Velasco, right? There was this one high-pitched whine it was making, really grating noise, you know? And I searched and searched, but I couldn't find the source of the noise until we pulled in here. Was it the blower? No, it was Manny screaming in the back like a cat tied to a cruise missile. Ha <laughs> ha right. <laughs> that's a good one. Hola. Hey, Manny, Doc Master Velasco here yeah, says Velasco. he's got a place we can dry dock the bone wagon for a while. Oh, yeah. We can't leave a beauty like this out in the fog or her chrome will get pitted. Pitted? Or stolen. Did you hear that, Manny? You folks gonna stay in Rubicava for a spell? Probably. I might be here a while. Is there any work in this town? Well, there's lots of work down at the docks. But it's all union work. <laughs> and I just don't see you in that union. <laughs> we'll see about that, Velasco. We're here looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. I'm not too good with names. Did she have any distinguishing marks or a tattoo? Not that she showed me. Well, like I said, I'm as good with names as you are with the fog. <laughs> good one. How do you get around here with all the mist? Well, uh, when you've strolled these docks as long as I have, Pilgrim, you know where you are by the smell of the sea, by the sound of the lonely foghorn, by the icy touch of the cold, salty air. Wow! Manny, could I have an eye patch? Can I just ask, what is under the eye patch? Because I know it's not an eye. Oh, well. When I was alive, I had an eye patch like this. This one's just for the phantom pain. And that one eye socket used to scream like a banshee when the trade winds blew, so I plugged her. Hey, Manny! Mm. We were in the middle of a conversation here! Hey, hey, okay. Gladys, I'm your boss, not the other way around, all right? Ever seen this woman? Oh, if this is the woman you're looking for, take my advice. Forget about her. She sailed out of here weeks ago in a cozy portside cabin built for two. And she wasn't alone. Uh. How do you know she sailed out of here? I don't believe it. It's a tough break, Junior. But you gotta face it. Here, look it up in my port log if you want it in writing. Six weeks ago on a Tuesday. Ticket for two, paid in full. I cracked the champagne on the bow myself. Hey, Manny! We were in the middle of a conversation here! Hey, hey, okay. Look, I know how you feel, son. Once I lost a very special lady myself. I waved to her from the docks as she sailed out of port, and I never saw her again. What was her name? The SS La Mancha was her name, but don't make me talk about her, because I, I just can't do it. I was gonna say, it's probably a boat. Or a ship, even. A boat is a little bit smaller than a ship, so it's a ship. Anyway, uh, we go back up to Flores, Mr. Flores, uh, Celsa Flores, and we show him the book of uh, human destruction for him. Uh, and then we. Um, then we're done. Celso, your wife sailed out of here two months ago with another man. It's all in there. Oh, Manny, is there a greater constant in nature than the treachery of women? Forget about her, Celso. Have you forgotten yours? I'm going after her. You take over my job here. This Yay. mop at least will never let you down. That Foster. compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. Ah, huh, kept the compass. But there we go. That is the end of year one. Um, and... Yeah. That's it. There's nothing else to it.
And we're a big shot now, in Ubukawa. Hey boss, you gonna come downstairs? I got a customer asking for you. You know I don't like to mingle with the customers. Well, you may want to mingle with this one. She sounds like your type. That's so. That's Lupe, by the way. Oh. Well, looks like a quiet night in old Rubacaba. But look at this place. It's very, um... Different. <laughs> we have our own club now, and... There's a lot more to it. But, we're gonna end up here. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, next time, we'll start our adventures in Arubakawa. Um, when we are... Well, you'll see. Anyway, I'll... I'm gonna thank you all guys for watching. Guys. I... I, uh, I knocked over the microphone stand. But anyway, uh, I think we're gonna end up here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time for more... Gilfenagel Remastered. So, see you then. Bye-bye, people.